I was searching for some videos on Cerium on YouTube lately, and turns out there aren't all that many around. Naturally, I wanted to fill in the gap and show off some cool chemistry of Cerium salts. So I bought some Cerium dioxide. Cerium dioxide is a beige colored powder, and on its own it's not all too interesting. But you can convert it into really nice serum for sulfate, which is much better suited for further chemistry. And this is what this video is going to be all about. To start off with the synthesis, I weigh out 5 grams of serum dioxide and add all of it to a small round bottom flask, followed by a stir bar. Then I add 9 grams of 96% sulfuric acid, which is an excess of around 3 grams. I do this so that there is enough liquid for the stirring to work properly. On early attempts, the serum dioxide just soaked in all the sulfuric acid and made a hard block which was impossible to stir. I set up the experiment outside and started heating the reaction mix. You can see that already a nice tinge of yellow is developing. For this reaction to proceed at a good rate, it needs to be pretty hot. I achieved this by putting the hot plate to 300 degrees Celsius and also wrapping the flask in aluminium foil. I then let this sit outside for some 3 hours. You see, the material gradually obtains an orange color, and this is important and I'll get to this later. After 3 hours I was left with this very pasty material. I tried making the stir bar work by agitating the paste a little bit, but in the end all efforts were useless to say the least. Coming back the next day, I saw that the color of the reaction mix was yellow again. This first led me to believe that, despite the fact I knew the end product was yellow, that the reaction didn't go to completion yet. So I set it up to be heated again. This is the end product and I'm not going to isolate it and I'm not going to determine yield since for that I would have needed to boil off all the sulfuric acid, which is a pain to say the least. Instead, I'm going to convert this into serum 3 in a next video and hopefully show off some of the chemistry of that. If you have any suggestions on what I could do with the serum 4 sulfate, leave them in the comments and I will look into it. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to, check out my Instagram account, and thanks for watching.